Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to another Shadow High review and unboxing. Obviously, I am not on camera today. Um, I have to be honest, I've had a really weirdly busy week. I've had to get dressed a lot and I have to get dressed again tomorrow. I don't feel like changing out of my pajamas today. So no me on camera today. Um, but we have Zoe on camera, which is way more important anyway. Zoe Electra from Shadow High. I'm so excited about this girl. I know a lot of people have already talked about how cool and fun and different she is. So like everything that I have to say has probably been said already, but I am really, really excited. I will say I want to be upfront. I don't know that I'm going to love her outfit and I do have plans already to redress her. I just love the base doll so much. Of course, I'm judging from like inbox. So maybe things could change when I unbox her. Um, but I just wanted to be like upfront and honest that I didn't buy her because I love the outfit. So if I'm a little bit more critical towards it, I do have that bias. This is actually bought for me by my lovely husband. I was going to wait for a sale since I don't like her outfit, but he surprised me with her. And I can't complain, you know, it's very sweet of him. And now I have extra pieces to work with, even if I don't like them on Zoe. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to get that out of the way so that, you know, if you guys do like this outfit, you kind of understand that I'm going into it with a little bit more bias. But again, things could change. So that is Zoe in her box here. We've got the back of the box. Very, very exciting stuff. I've been waiting a while to unbox her <laughs> because I've just had other stuff happening. So I'm really, really excited to finally be able to get into her. If you guys do find yourselves enjoying the review and the unboxing, if you could give it a like, that would be awesome. And if this is the first time you're seeing a video from me, hi, maybe consider subscribing if you like what you see so you can see more of it. But yeah, so that out of the way, let's go ahead. I'm going to unbox her off screen real quick and then we will get back and see what she comes with. Okay, got Zoe all out of box. So she is obviously on her stand and then she does come with the comb as well as the couple of hangers that Shadow High Series 2 is getting. Y'all have heard me say it before in my previous two Series 2 reviews. I think the hangers are stupid since we don't have a second outfit, but it is fine. And then of course she has her little accessories. So when it comes to her accessories, Zoe has this water bottle. I do think it is really, really cute in like the idea, but in practice there is like... A sticker over it which is how you get you know the shadow with the sassy sticker but mine is peeling up on the corners and is also really puckered along the bottom I feel like it's not showing up as bad with this lighting and on camera as it actually is in real life um so that's like a little bit disappointing because it's really like unpleasant to the touch you know when you get a sticker and it's not put down properly and there's like these bumps and lumps and it just doesn't feel good that's exactly what's happening plus the peeling that's really unfortunate because it is very cute um aside from that but yeah and then i don't i feel like the cap probably comes off i can't get the cap off so y'all will have to let me know down in the comments below if that is supposed to be removable or not because i can't get it but that is okay then her phone she's got the novi stars and then on the back it is just plain her phone case has the sh and then little moons and clouds which is super cute i like the design a lot this one is pretty thin if you guys have seen my other two shadow high series two reviews monique had a very sturdy phone case and then glitch had one that felt closer to this and it feels really like thin and a little bit low quality i guess maybe i just got like a weirdly good monique phone case it's definitely not terrible like obviously i can't snap it like with one hand i'm kind of weak but like <laughs> i can't just snap it with one hand and especially on the phone it'll be fine but just something to be aware of it does have like a really cool like it's a little bit iridescent. So I like the design a lot. And then lastly, she does have this computer. So we've got a little moon sticker and then a commander. This is cute because this cat is like very similar to the cats in Neon Shadow. So I feel like that's kind of an homage, which I appreciate. And then it does open up to reveal molded keyboard and pad. And then she's in like a drawing program. So I'm guessing she's drawing the Snowy Stars. So for her, it's like fan art. I don't know. It's kind of cute. I appreciate it. I like that it actually functions. So that one's probably my favorite accessory she comes with. And then we get to Zoe herself. So I have to like put in a little bit of effort to getting her off the stand because I have to clip it underneath the jacket because it's so puffy, you know, so I have to like slide it up in here. Anyway, though, <laughs> let's take a look at her face. So cute. I just, I love the makeup and like her little circles up here. I'm obsessed. It's so fun. It's so alien and just interesting. 
it's very different for Rainbow High or Shadow High, and I really appreciate it. I love kind of more fantasy designs. So cute. <laughs> I love the glitter. I feel like the face paint is pretty darn good. She's just looking so cute. Ah, oh, I'm so happy with her. Gosh. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I'm just sitting here admiring her instead of talking about her like I should be. Uh, the hair, I do feel like you probably saw this. Because of the box, you can see the rooting already like very well because of the way that her hair was gelled down in the box. But if you look at the pattern, I do feel like it is pretty darn standard. It's just in rows. It's not anything crazy, but it's definitely not as bad as some other dolls that we've had. So... I'm going to be nice and assume that after I fix this hair, this is going to look fine. Um, if I am able to fix it before this video needs to go up, I'll insert a picture here so that you guys can see how that turns out. But I think it's going to be fine. I think it's just a case of the box hair really revealing that scalp. But like, yeah, she's going to be fine. As far as the style of her hair goes, I do love these three little knots. They're so cute. And I just feel like, again, it's so fun. It's so different compared to like the styles that I feel like we usually see with Rainbow High and Shadow High. Like I'm looking around at my collection and, you know, the vast majority are fairly simple hairstyles. So to get something like this, I think is really, really fun. I do love her earrings. I feel like these are supposed to be something and I can't tell what. But I like them. I think they look really cool. They say Shadow High along the side here, but it's so small you can hardly even see it. Then she has got this insane jacket, and I don't even know where to start. There are so many details on this. It is very, like, thick. It's a puffer kind of jacket. Really high-quality feeling material to me. Like, you know, for a doll clothing. Like, it's not like, this is luxury, like actual human clothing. But for doll clothing, this feels really high quality to me. There's actual patches all over it and different straps and like little pocket pieces. Oh my God, this one Velcros. Hold on. I didn't even know that. So she's got one functioning pocket right here that Velcros. Oh my God. That's so cute. I actually did not realize that was a thing. That is so precious. There's a few different like drawstring aspects to it that I don't think that they actually make it any tighter, but you can like stretch them. So there is actual elastic, at least for the effect. And I just think that's so fun and so cute. It's extremely detailed and extremely well-crafted too. Like I'm sitting here looking at it and I don't really see any loose threads or nothing that's like pulling off. I mean, you saw, I literally pulled that thing on the back and nothing came off. Really, really immaculate and beautiful to me. Just a quick note for her super cute pointy nails. The t-shirt underneath is a lot less exciting. It's just the Novi Stars logo on a plain white t-shirt, which like I do get, I'm sure most of the budget for the clothing for this doll went to this jacket. So like, I can't really complain. The skirt I do like more than I thought I would. I'm open to admitting I was kind of wrong. There is a faint like iridescence or a faint holographicness to it. You can see it along there. There's like a little rainbow happening. I do like the design with the little tiny slits and then these bands going across here. It's very cool. It is something that feels like futuristic and interesting to me. So I like that a lot, actually. I didn't think that I was going to like it as much as I do, but out of the box, I think I can appreciate it a little bit more. And then, yeah, the back is just plain there. And then moving on down, I, okay, the shoes, I don't know how to feel about. I feel like the socks is very interesting because I know that a lot of Rainbow High fans have expressed that they're kind of tired of the socks and the heels. I think that it can be done well or it can be done poorly, but I find it fascinating, I guess, that it's something that at least the adult collecting community, I feel like, is kind of overseeing with Rainbow High and Shadow High just because it's been done so much. So I'm fascinated that they would do it again. I don't think it's terrible. Um, like, they're not the most amazing socks I've seen. I feel like we've seen very, very similar socks from Rainbow High, but it's fine. The shoes, it's, it's, I don't know how to describe how I'm feeling. <laughs> I think that they're really weird and really interesting. All of this detail in the sculpting, like on the actual heel is very interesting to me. Like, I think that that's really cool. I think that the colors are fine. And the ties, I mean, obviously I have to appreciate the quality on these, right? Like there's literal plugs in the ties on her shoes. I think my thing is that it doesn't make sense with the rest of the theme to me. I'm going to talk about the theme in a second, but 
on a quality level, I think that these are really cool and extremely unique. But okay, so theme. I'm gonna get her back on her stand really quick. She is very, very clearly a Novi Stars fan. And I say this with love because I also think that Novi Stars are really cool. I think that they were a really fun line, a very unique line. I like aliens, so like I'm pretty much automatically down. <laughs> I think it's really cool. But I have said this a few times with Rainbow High and Shadow High before, with some of their dolls that feel like they are nothing more than a reference. Usually it's a reference to a designer brand or like a pop culture moment. So I do appreciate that this is at least like a doll reference and also kind of a weirder reference with Novi Stars. It's very fun, but I do feel like my biggest critique of Zoe is that she almost doesn't feel like her own character because she is so focused on Novi Stars. Like she has the shirt and the phone and also the computer. So I don't know. I feel like it's just a little bit too much. Like if she just had the shirt, I think that would be fun because it would be like, oh, she's a Novi Stars fan. Like that's really cute. But when you add all of the other things together, it kind of makes it feel like that's all she has. I don't know if that makes sense or if I'm being overly critical, but that's just kind of the vibe I get is that I, I think I would like some more pieces that weren't so Novi Stars focused. And again, I say that as someone who likes Novi Stars, like I know some people have been speculating that the fact that she is so Novi Stars themed means that maybe like Novi Stars will make a comeback. And if they did, I would be thrilled. I would buy them. Like I think that they're fun, but I just kind of wish we could see more Zoe and Zoe, I guess. <laughs> and then my other thing with the theme is that obviously with Novi Stars being a brand of alien dolls, she's very space themed and that I love. I love how she's got more like unique hair. I forgot to mention she has tinsel. I don't really care about tinsel. So that wasn't like of note to me. It's just sparkly and cute. But so she's got like tinsel and kind of metallic hair and the unique makeup and like the fun hairstyle. And then obviously she has a jacket that is kind of like astronaut inspired to me. That's how it reads. The skirt is pretty futuristic. But then the shoes to me just like don't match. I feel like if she had a lot more electronics focus and I think there's like the blurb on her um, on the MGA Rainbow High website that she does a lot of electronic fashion. I think I'm remembering that correctly. So that fits her character, but I feel like in the design, there's so much emphasis on space and so much emphasis on Novi stars that then like the plugs on her shoes don't completely make sense because it, if you look at her design to me, I wouldn't guess that she is like a technology person, I would guess she is a space person. I hope that that makes sense. Like, I hope you guys get what I'm saying with that. I think that the shoes could be thematic to her character, but I think that the rest of the design leans so far in the space side of things that the shoes don't quite match up. Like with this, with like the top portion, aside from the shoes, I feel like moon boots would have been good. Like, like a big puffy boot to kind of be like an astronaut boot would have made more sense based on the top half of her design because she looks so space themed. And I would have loved that. Like I, I can't say this enough that I'm not trying to critique this to be mean. I just, I like these things. Like I like Novi stars. I like outer space. I think it's so fascinating. I love the idea of learning about aliens because I do think that somewhere out there there's probably life on another planet the universe is enormous like that just makes sense to me that statistically somewhere else would have some kind of life and that is so fascinating and fun so like I like the theming I just feel like they were trying to go I guess in a few different directions and it didn't quite land for me editing me here I just wanted to add that I do think this is where a second outfit could be beneficial because I think that if she came with more pieces they would have been able to tie in her multiple themes with Novi stars and space in general and electronics without it feeling so forced because they would have more outlets to do so pun intended um so yeah just a thought so that is kind of like what I was trying to say at the beginning of this video. Like I knew right from the get go, I probably wasn't going to like the Novi Star shirt because there's so many other Novi Star references. And I'm just like, I don't need all of it, you know? So I want to restyle her to be like 
more spacey and more out there because I just think that would be very fun. She's got like a really unique appearance for the Rainbow High and Shadow High cast. And so I really want to lean into that. So I'll change her shoes because like that, they're fine. Like they are really quality and very interesting, but I just don't feel like they match. So yeah, the um, short version, I know I like started this and then I kind of went off on a tangent. I like her face. I think that that's really fun. I like her coat. I think that that's really cool. Um, I think the theming is a little weird. The shoes are cool, but I don't think they match her. And the water bottle, the sticker is really messed up. So those are like my pros and cons, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, that was like a long rant. I don't know where that came from. Um, but overall, I am really excited to have her. Like, I'm not saying that to be like, oh, I, I regret getting this doll or like, I wish Tony hadn't bought her for me because I do like her and I am excited to have her. I just feel like the design could have been tweaked a smidgen and it would have been even better than it is now. But I am very, very curious to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on Zoe in the comments down below. Like I said earlier, I know that she has been one of the favorite dolls from series two. So yeah, I'm curious about how you guys feel about her. I will still say that even despite like the few little things like the water bottle having the weird sticker, the quality is there. Like with the jacket alone, the quality is there. So at the very least, my opinions on series two of Shadow High hold up and that for $25 for the quality that you get, I can understand not having a second outfit. I still would love a second outfit, but at least it is really, really quality, especially given that this is a brand that has had some serious quality control issues in the past. I'm really happy to see that it feels like now when you buy them, at least, you know, in the three that I've experienced, it's all been really solid quality. So that's a big thumbs up for me. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it for this video, guys. I do hope that you enjoyed listening to my rambling with this one. <laughs> I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.